YouTube, it's your boy Curtis, aka Flex, coming to you with episode 11 of The Comeback. Now today's episode is featuring the bench press, so just take a look at what I did today, I'll get back to you when it's finished. Hey guys and welcome to another episode of The Comeback. As you guys heard in the beginning, today's uh, featuring the bench press and uh, getting right into it, uh, I started with 100 on the bench and uh, did that for 7 reps, then moved on to uh, 125 uh, on, the, on the bar and I uh, did 5 reps. Now if you guys remember from uh, last week's uh, episode, uh, I was feeling as if my uh, my arms, one arm would be longer, seemed longer than the other, just based on how the uh, the video or the angle of uh, how I was recording it. So I concentrated this week more on actually just trying to, you know, fix my form and make sure everything is, uh, you know, formed properly, and and, and made sure my arms aren't actually, uh, you know, awkward looking or awkward feeling. So that's how I what I worked on more today. So I went on from 125 for five to 150. For uh, I believe five or six reps, and uh, again making sure I worked on my form, made sure I have the uh, the brief pause at the bottom, and uh, you know made sure I had an explosive uh, you know extension after I finished uh, the ascension, uh, the uh, bringing in part of the uh, of the lift. So after I did the 150, I went up to 190, and I uh, managed to pull off another uh, six reps. And continue working on my form because again, you know, form is very important and making sure your bar path is, you know, as, as solid as possible when you're going into your meets. So after the 190 for 6, I uh, went up to uh, 215 pounds for another 5 and uh, that went relatively smoothly. I might have had a little bit of weakness as you can see the shaking in my left uh, arm. But uh, the, the, the power, power uh, went up pretty, pretty easily, pretty smoothly. And then I finished off the day doing uh, 240 pounds for uh, a solid two reps. Uh, it wasn't too much of a grinder, but uh, I managed to pull it off uh, relatively well. Then afterwards, I went into doing uh, incline cable flies. You guys might have seen me do incline cable flies before in past videos, but th today I decided to do it with a little twist. So I put 40 pounds on the uh, machine itself. As you guys know, I like using this free motion machine uh, in particular, but uh, again, I did uh, put 40 pounds on the machine for each arm, and I would do one full, uh, full fly, and then I would do two half flies uh, in the middle. And that was pretty much how I did, that would be representing actually one rep. So I did uh, four sets of eight reps uh, doing this. And again, working on the, doing, again, one full and two halves. Then uh, afterwards, I went into doing uh, tricep pull downs. What I did is I used, I didn't do anything flashy or different than any, than the other times you might have seen me do tricep pull downs. I just went and I did uh, 60 pounds. Uh, for about 15 reps and I did four sets again keeping it simple just made sure that uh, you know I worked, gave my triceps some good work because again having some strong uh, triceps is also good for uh, you know your overall uh, bench press so I uh, made sure I worked on some tricep work today and uh, I finished off the day doing uh, single arm cable extensions again making sure I kept uh, I, I like using cables because uh, it really just gives you a constant time on attention and uh, you know nothing uses more time on attention than doing a bench press at the end of the day so you know I really wanted to work on today uh, just working on the triceps so again this is what I did today guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next video alright guys as you can see there uh, I, I did my uh, bench press, everything is going relatively well, so I'm very uh, happy with uh, just the way this week uh, has gone. As you might or might not know, uh, the next week or week that's coming up here now that this video is probably being dropped on is uh, my deload week. So I'll have uh, different kind of content and uh, different things going on this week. Plus I'll still have my usual, uh, you know, fitness updates, etc., etc., for my comeback. So don't worry, this uh, same kind of content will still be going on, but uh, it might be switched up a little bit because you won't be seeing like, uh, you know, the regular training for, uh, you know, my meet. As you guys already know or might not know, uh, August 13th is the actual meet. So this week is a deload, then I got another week 
relatively before the actual, uh, you know, meet. So, what I, again, what I'm going to be doing is just doing my deload this week. Then next week, I'll be trying to do, no, I would say 90 to 95 percent of my one rep max, just to really just see, you know, get my system ready for, you know, hitting some PRs hopefully at the meet, and then uh, again start things fresh and maybe even prepare for our next meet. Who knows? Uh, but again, my mind is focused on the meet that's uh, at, or the task at hand or the meet that's at hand, and uh, hopefully, you know, blow or make what happened last time not happen again. So again. I uh, hope you guys are liking this content. If you are liking this content, make sure you hit that like button because again, I love getting the like button or I like getting uh, the support from you guys in the like button. Plus, comments in the comment section is the best way to let me know that you guys are liking it. And plus, uh, I believe YouTube actually likes seeing those things happen too. So make sure you comment and you like as well because again, that is more than uh, uh, appreciated. Make sure you subscribe if it's the first time that you're checking out my channel because again, subscribing will give you notifications on not only when videos are coming out, but when my actual beat video does come out and hopefully I make it just as good or as just as nice as my uh, first one. When the video does come out, hopefully you guys will be able to see it and uh, will be notified on it when it does come out. So again, subscribing is one of the best ways to get notifications as soon as possible. Make sure you share it with anybody else that might be into powerlifting, bodybuilding, uh, taste tests. Actually, bear in mind, I have another taste test I'm gonna do this week as well, so pay attention to that one. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you share and suggest. And always remember guys, at the end of the day, to flex them guns. Bullet.